Hello everyone, the video is about leading the clutch line on a 2019 Toyota Corolla XSE hatchback 6 speed. In my experience, uh, if you've got big hands, uh, so unless you've got very small hands, you're pretty much uh, better off removing the airbox to do this job much easier and faster. To remove the airbox, you pretty much lose on the, the clamp that's holding the top hose and then the mass uh, sensor electrical connection. Then open the two clips on the side of the top cover. Lift the top cover, remove the air filter, and then you will see those two 10 millimeter bolts. Just you need to remove. Uh, that's what's holding the airbox to the frame. I use the 316 uh, clear fuel line. Uh, you only need about maybe two or three feet in length. And then the water bottle that I used was about 16 or 17 fuel ounces. So I basically sucked almost all of the old fluid out of the reservoir and put it into this collection bottle and then submerged the other end of the line into the bottle so that it wouldn't suck back air in when I was bleeding the line during each pass and then you need an eight millimeter wrench open-ended wrench to actually open and close the bleed valve um, don't forget to fill up the reservoir with fresh fluid uh, I use a dot four if you can afford and find one uh, you could probably uh, use also use a 5.1 fluid synthetic fluid which probably even be the best but dot four synthetic dot four is actually pretty good um, I use the a little window cleaning tool which is about two feet in length but uh, you could find something that's a little longer or shorter and use that as well uh, to push the clutch pedal about 80 90 percent in uh, you can also uh, move the seat back and forth time you hear that sound basically it's a little bit more of the old fluid is being pushed out of the clutch line into the bottle it took me about five or six cycles to get in my opinion almost all of the fluid out or enough fluid to actually revive the system to its original working condition Turn it about you hear the noise. So I noticed about maybe a week or two prior to this process, I noticed the clutch pedal was getting a lot softer. I was losing the pressure. And then maybe a few days prior to this process, um, the reverse gear, I had problems shifting into the reverse. And uh, like a few days later, it started having the same problem with the second gear. Uh, and I realized the car was only uh, only had 22,000 miles, but it was four years old. The fluid was four years old. So that's something that's definitely a maintenance item and I neglected it. So make sure uh, you don't. Uh, something that you're supposed to do every two years. Uh, putting the air box is fairly easy. Just make sure you put the, the side of the bolts, bolt holes in first and then make sure that little uh, connection to the ECU bracket is snaps all the way in so it's flush and firm. And you can place the, the elbow, plastic elbow. And if everything is connected properly, uh, the bolt holes will actually line up. So you shouldn't actually have any problem seeing the holes. Maybe you'll have to wiggle it a little bit, but everything should be actually aligned. Uh, just uh, make sure when you're doing the, the bleeding, uh, keep an eye on the reservoir fluid levels. Um, I filled it up quite a bit above the max line. So after I did about maybe five, maybe six passes, six cycles, it was actually one eighth of an inch below the max line, which was fine for me. Um, and then I just put everything back together. Uh, I could tell the clutch pedal uh, had very good pressure. So it was almost like 
how it was when it was brand new. Um, don't forget to put all the caps and filters back in place, including the bleed valves cap, and just go for a ride. See how it is. Thanks for watching.